Hello, I'm Bob Hather of Life Water Drilling Technology. The purpose of this short video is to show how to unload your LDT 360 from the sea container. So the tools required are a forklift that's capable of handling at least 6,000 pounds and a standard wrench set. To remove your new LDT 360 drill rig from the sea container, you'll want to put the forklift forks below the bottom axle and then with the straps as provided during shipping you'll want to put this strap around your forklift and around the LDT 360 drill rig and that can hold the rig suspended while you back the rig out of the C container. The rig will arrive without the wheels on that's to give it the height that needs to fit in the C container. So when you lower the rig out onto the ground, it'll be supported by the jacks and you can install each of the four wheels with the lug nuts that are provided in the job box. Lug nuts are to be tightened at 80 foot-pounds of torque. Beneath the drill rig in the C container will lie the two portions of the drill stem. They will also have to be removed with the forklift. So you'll be provided a strap, make yourself a sling, put your forklift up and drag these drill stems out. Make another tie loop on this end and you can make a, a uh, sling to lift the drill stems out so you can lay them out on the ground and put them together with the wrenches that are included. Now we're going to demonstrate the assembly of the mast. To begin with take the shorter section of the three mast sections provided and orient it so that the uh, hinge knuckle is aiming up. Lay it out where the forklift can come right underneath these uh, two uh, shafts. So bring in the forklift. <laughs> install the lower section of the mast, you'll want to use the larger of the two hinge pins provided. Now we're going to align the hinge barrel with the two hinge knuckles on the superstructure. Perfect. Okay. All right. We put the hinge pin in. Oh, 
it'll go up. Go up. There you go. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay, repin it. Okay, and drop in your 3 8 locking bolt. Okay, so now we insert the six 5 8 bolts to the mast. Okay, now we're going to swing the mast out and bolt it. I'll climb up there because I got the same shirt on and stuff and all that bullshit. To hook up all the cables, we need to start the engine. And that means filling the fuel tank with regular 86 octane or higher petrol or gasoline. And using an all purpose hydraulic oil, you'll need three of these cans to fill this tank. To start your 21 horsepower Honda motor. Pull the choke out. Push the choke back in. I'm going to pull out about 50 or 60 feet of cable. Okay, that's enough. Feed your sand line uh, cable in through the first shiv. In between the uh, two hydraulic rams, to route the cable underneath the lower of the two shivs. Up through the top. And back out again. Wrap the cable around your thimble. And use three of these, and I'll show you. Okay. The round end of the cable lock goes on the side with the tag end of the cable. The distance of the three cable locks are supposed to be twice the distance of the thickness of your cable that you're using. We're still going to have to suck that up some more. That, that, that thing shouldn't be this like that. But okay. we're getting there. To connect the mainline cable, we run it from the top of the spool over this shiv, over the top of the walking beam, and to the main top shiv pulley. Pull about 60 feet of cable off the spool. You fill it up with grease until this indicator 
shows that the that it's full. Any extra grease you're going to spread on this shaft. It has to be greased once or twice a day. chain tightener to assemble the drill stud. We're nearing the end of our stem assembly. Now we're going to install the carbide button bit. And again, we're going to use the J wrenches to tighten it. Now we install the, the stem guide. The okay. There we go. All right. Now we are going to load the drill stem onto the mast of the rig. So first you want to pick the drill stem up with your forklift with the middle joint in between the two forks on your forklift to have even weight distribution. The drill bit will overhang the mast by about this much when properly placed. Okay. Inside your rope socket you'll find your swivel for the cable and when you mount the drill stem it makes it a lot easier if you mount this either to the side or up so it's accessible to bring cable through after the whole drill stem is up on the mast. Okay. Now that the drill stem is supported by the forklift, this is the time to put your drill stem guide on. <laughs> 